Hello, my name is Brian Atkinson and welcome to UK Aircraft Explored. In this video, we shall cover the Spitfire Mark V's engine startup sequence. We shall go step by step following the 1942 Air Ministry pilot's notes. I hope you find this interesting. As the Spitfire Mark V has an electric starter, electrical current for the starter motor is normally supplied by an external battery known as the trolley ack or accumulator. It would be connected by the ground crew to the socket on the engine mounting U frame, which is accessible through a door in the engine cowling panel on the starboard side, as shown here. The general service accumulator or battery carried in the Spitfire is also connected to the starter, but as its capacity is small for such heavy duty operation, it will be used only as a standby. We shall now go through the preliminaries. On entering the cockpit, the pilot must check the following. Undercarriage lever is set to down. The pilot should check that the indicator shows down and switch on the light indicator and check that green lights appear. Flaps. Check the lever is set to up. Check the contents of the lower fuel tank. We are now ready to start the engine and begin warming up ready for taxiing and takeoff. Check the fuel cock lever is set to on. Move the throttle lever so it is half an inch open. Set the mixture control if fitted to rich. Set the propeller speed control. Fully back de Havilland 20 degree or fully forward Rotor 35 degree or de Havilland Hydromatic. Set the radiator shutter to open. High velocity fuel should be used if possible for priming at air temperatures below freezing. Work the key gas priming pump until the suction and delivery pipes are full. This may be judged by a sudden increase in resistance. Switch on the ignition and starting magneto if fitted. Lift the flaps and press the starter and booster coil buttons if fitted. Turning periods must not exceed 20 seconds with a 30 second wait between each. Work the priming pump as rapidly and as vigorously as possible while the engine is being turned and it should start in normal conditions after three strokes. When the engine is running satisfactorily, release the booster coil button or switch off the starting magneto if fitted and screw down the priming pump. Run the engine as slowly as possible for half a minute. Then warm up at a fast tick over. Make the usual checks of temperatures, pressures and controls. Brake pressure should be at least 120 pounds per square inch, shown on the brake triple pressure gauge. The pilot would see that the cockpit hood is locked open and the emergency exit door is set at the half cock position. It's time to ask for permission to taxi the aircraft. Well that's it for another video. I do hope you found the video interesting and please remember we have many more videos lined up for you. Please click the free subscribe button below and also like to get notifications when future videos are posted. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.